you've made your level, you've made your cutscene, and you've made some more levels. And now you're asking yourself, how do I move from one level to another level? I'm gonna show you. And also, if you're loving these RPG developer Barkin videos, and you haven't yet subscribed, then please maybe consider subscribing. I rub your back, you rub my big number ego. Now, this one is really simple. What you want to do is go over to the top right hand corner of the screen where it says events and click on that and you want to scroll down so you see a folder called doors slash stairs. Now inside this you've got a whole bunch of preset functions. What you're going to want to click on is warp gate function and then click over here or wherever you want to make your level transfer event. It's going to come up with this box right here. So we're going to click change map and select the specific map we want to travel to and hit OK. And then we're just going to search around the top down view of that map for where we want to transfer our player. So here's fine. Now, if we hit test play, you'll be able to see that as we walk over here and hit the trigger event, it teleports us over to the next map. Now, there's a couple of things I want to change. So we're going to double click on this event and we're going to convert it to a custom event. First is the sound effect. I want to change that instead of magical ice, to move. Inside the custom event, you can also just see how it works. So when the player makes contact with the event, that's what triggers it. It plays the sound effect, it darkens the screen, it teleports the player, and then it brightens the screen again, ending the event. Another thing you can do is change the size of the trigger box. Again, for those of you who haven't worked in a 3D space, let me give you some hotkeys. W will give you these three arrows, blue, will move it along the z-axis, red will move it along the x-axis, and green will move it along the y-axis. If you hit E, it brings up the rotation tool where you can rotate the event around. That works with every event, even this tree. And if you hit W, it brings up the sizing menu. I want to make this trigger a bit bigger. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to thin this event down because you don't need a big box. I'm going to move it into the position I want, rotate it into the position I want, and then I'm just going to drag it out like this. Now you can see we have a bigger event trigger. That means anywhere the character steps into this event, it's going to transfer them to the next map. Obviously, don't forget to go over to your other map and make a transfer event back to your first map. You can do the same thing with doors by clicking this door link to another place event, dropping it down, changing the map, and transferring to the map you want to transfer to. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video and I will see you in the next one.